Hello and welcome to part two of this set of tutorials on creating a uh, website layout using Fireworks CS5. Okay, so we've got um, a good start here. We've got our header done, we've got our base rectangle done. Um, now I need to uh, just quickly put in some text. So I'm going to pick up the text tool uh, for a title here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to make this white text first here. I just need to click, a text box will show up, and um, I can type in the text that I want. Okay, so there's my text. Now, I could also um, put this text on in Dreamweaver, and if I do it in Dreamweaver, it gives me, it's a little easier to change it or to alter it, because then it's just plain text, and I can use CSS to get it in the right place and to help me decide how it's going to look. Um, but I think it's kind of fun to also do it here in Fireworks. Um, just as a little harder to change it later. Now that text is having a hard time showing up here on my, my background. So a couple things that I might try. I could put a stroke on it. So I'm going to put a black stroke around that. And that helps it show up a little bit. I might also want to put, um, I could put a little drop shadow on it. Which gives it a little dimension. I think that looks going to look just fine. I don't want to spend too much time there just enough to make it so that it's easy to read okay so there is my title and you can see I've got the title up there I'm gonna drag it down so it's just right above um, where it is in the stacking order there lock that now I need to decide if I'm going to create um, uh, navigation here in fireworks so if I want to make the navigation out of graphics, then I'll do it right now. And if I want the navigation uh, across the top, sort of a horizontal navigation bar. Uh, if I want to do that with CSS, create this navigation, then I'll do all this in Dreamweaver and I won't bother. But I'm just going to go through the process here um, so you can see the steps. So I would like a, nav some, a little navigation bar to show up here over on the right side. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool again. And I'm just going to drag out a rectangle, something about like that, in that spot, and maybe um, around the corners a bit so that it kind of fits the design. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, let's see what we've got. I need to round them a lot to make it show up, the smaller object. Okay. That's probably good enough, and I think that I'd like this to be a little darker, maybe just a shade of gray there. All right, so let me move this guide out of the way. So I'm going to put my main navigation or my global navigation up there. Maybe I've got five links, so I can pick up that text tool. Um, what I, The previous heading was probably too big. And let's just see. So I'm going to have a link to my home page, and um, and how about if this is my a, a site for uh, my students, I might have an assignments page and a calendar page and uh, might have a page for links and maybe a page for um, a contact page and how about one more quick here, how about an about all right, so I've got all these text pieces. Let's just kind of put them in the order that we want them in. Um, I'm not too worried about their alignment yet. Let's just see if I have room here. Okay, don't quite have room. I'm just going to change the size of the text. So if I get them all selected, and I can make the size of the text maybe 14, um, and I think those will fit a little bit better. And if I do that, this probably can doesn't need to be quite so big okay okay so let's um, I'm gonna lock up everything except that text and I'm gonna let um, fireworks help me uh, align these so first under modify and align I'm gonna align them to the top so they're all the same height um, and then uh, it, it's pretty obvious that th these are individual, will be individual buttons, but if I wanted to make it a little more clear, I could put a little vertical line in between them. So let's just try that. So I'm going to select the line tool, and maybe a little white line between them would be nice. And I want it to be vertical, so I'm just going to hold down Shift, drag that. Let's see what we got. Not quite big enough. If I select it, um, 
and just tell the height to be maybe 15 will be enough. Okay, something like that. Now, if I zoom to 100%, um, that might be okay. Maybe I'll make that two pixels wide, possibly, It'll show up a little bit better. Okay, so I just need a few of these, and I'm going to just copy and paste them along here. So I get one between each bit of text. And then I'm going to let Fireworks help me line these up, line all this stuff up. So um, I'm going to move the last object to about where I want it from the edge and the front object to about where I want it. And then if I get all the pieces selected, um, Fireworks will align these for me. So I just want to select them all, align, distribute widths, and you can see it created each one um, or just move them apart so the spacing is equal between each one. Okay, so that might be good enough. Uh, maybe it needs to be slid up just a couple pixels there. Okay, these guys didn't get aligned very well, so I'm just going to adjust them down a tiny bit. This one. Let's see, their y coordinate is 110, 110. I'm just making sure they're all in the same place. That one needs to come down one. And this one. Okay, so now they're a lot more equal. So there's my uh, navigation bar. Okay, in part three, we'll talk about um, preparing this to take uh, out of Fireworks and into Dreamweaver.